Hello and welcome to GarageBand Lesson 6. In this lesson we're going to import audio files from the Internet. And if we scroll up here you'll see that the three audio files we're going to import I've linked directly to those pages. If you don't feel like exploring and you want to go right to the page for practice you can if you like. But we're going to visit Internet Archive first and I already loaded in the search bar that I'm looking for MIDI files so we're just going to scroll down and the song that I selected is Anyway. I picked this one because I like the sound quality and there were also a lot of different things that we could look at here on the page. And each page will have a player. Gives you a chance to hear the song, decide if you want it or not. And I like that one. So now we need to look down and find which of these things to click on. Looking at the extensions can tell you some things. M3U, we've seen that before. That's our streaming audio. We've got different size files. We've got different types of files. We want a MIDI file. And there's that. Click here. And we hear it in a player. And we want to save that as a QuickTime movie. We've done this before. Put it on the desktop and here's our QuickTime Anyway Piano. If you remember from the last lesson we can't drag that into GarageBand and we can't convert it with Switch. So we put it into iTunes. Highlight, Advanced, Create MP3. It converted. Go up into the library type in the name of the song and this is mp3. Now in GarageBand the whole idea here was to put that into a GarageBand file. So new MIDI create drag in the mp3 and there we go. You can use that, edit that however you like. We did everything for the MIDI file. Now it's time to find an AUG file. And we're going to look at Wikimedia. Wikimedia is an excellent source of open source audio and images. And I linked right to the sound page here. Scrolling down we'll see there's lots and lots of files. Most are AUGs. A few are MIDIs. The one that we're going to look at is this one. Oh how I hate to get up in the morning. When you're on Wikimedia and you click on an audio file the page will look like this. You'll see a player directly below the player. There's the link so that you can download that audio file. So click on the player, get a chance to hear what it sounds like. In this case this is an unrestored version of a song by Arthur Fields. So pretty old. So that's a good sound quality considering what the source is. And we want to download that so we click. And this is an AUG file so we can't put it straight into GarageBand. You can save it and drag it into Switch or you can click open with Switch. Switch opens up. There's our song. Highlight it. Convert it. And that's all finished. And we didn't need to change any of those settings because it automatically goes to desktop and MP3. And it's time to drag our file back up in there. And there you go. All right, we're almost finished. We did an AUG file. Now it's time for loops. This is just a little bit trickier. And the link here takes us to Mac Loops. Mac Loops is an excellent resource for free loops. Uh, of course they have loops you can buy. You do need to register but it's free. And we're going to take a look at drum loops and reggae. And the one I chose for us is reggae 80. Now it's important to remember the number. That's the tempo number. So we click there. We're saving. We're not opening it. And here is our audio file of Reggae 80 drum loop and 
80. All right, so here we go. Open a new file. We'll call that drum import create. And here's my loop browser already open. Now, here's where we need that 80. We need to change this so that we've got our project. The tempo, the default tempo is 120, but our loop is 80. So we need to change the tempo here to 80. Otherwise, our loop's going to do some wacky things when we drag it in there. So here's our loop. And click the play button. Wonderful. I like that a lot. Okay, so we've got the loop. We've got it in our GarageBand project and we can use it in our composition, but if we want to have that available for future projects, we need to move that into the library. So we go to Edit, Add to Loop Library, and here's a title. We can keep the same title if we want to. I think I'm just going to get rid of the E. I'm going to capitalize it, and then we need to have some descriptors scale. It's not in any scale. And genre, I would call that world. And then we look at the instrument descriptor, all drums. It's a drum kit and mood descriptors. Um, I would say that's clean, it's acoustic, it's relaxed, it's grooving. The more different descriptors you have, the more you can narrow down those loops when you're creating a composition. So we do create. There it is. Reggae 80 is in my loop browser. Last thing before we go, when you're importing things from online, we have to be very careful about copyright. There's an excellent book by James Frankel. He has a website that goes with it. That book would be a resource for anyone who does a lot with music, internet, publishing on the internet. We don't want to break any rules. And the other resource is web-based only. Lots of good things on here. There are some links and visuals that aren't horribly appropriate for kids. So even though the website looks very kid friendly, there are some things you wouldn't want your students to look at. But for you, it's an excellent, excellent resource. And that's importing audio files. Thanks for watching.